One of the most popular design tools used by print-on-demand sellers just recently integrated Ideogram, one of the most popular AIs for generating designs into it, allowing us to generate beautiful, finished print-on-demand designs in seconds, which inspired this video. I wanna see if I can generate 10 best-selling designs, my own version of them, using Ideogram and Kittle, which is the design tool, in as little time as possible. So, let's get to it. So I'm here in Kittle, I started a new project. I like to usually go to the print on demand tab and start with a 4,500 by 5,400 artboard. This is just cause I'm a creature of habit, but you can really start at any size you want these days. Pretty much everywhere that you sell print on demand lets you uh, resize and kind of shuffle around the placement of your design. But I'm just walking you through my logic so far. I'm even gonna set the background color of the uh, artboard to like a green because with St. Patty's Day around the corner, why don't we look up some St. Patrick's Day niches? So I'm here on Etsy. I typed in St. Patrick's Day shirt and all I'm gonna do really quickly to get the best of the best, I said we're looking at best sellers. I'm gonna open up the Everbee Chrome extension. I'm gonna click product analytics. I'm gonna change it from just looking at page one of results to looking at Everbee's entire database of over a hundred million, yes, you heard that correctly, listings. And then I'm going to sort by uh, total sales. Let's do that. So now we're looking at over a hundred million listings, the best of the best, what St. Patrick's Day shirt has generated the most sales. It looks like the first one right here says, we little hooligan. And it was a simple text-based design. Let's confirm. Okay, perfect. We little hooligan, that's it. So I'm gonna come back over here to Kittle. I'm gonna click on the left-hand side, Kittle AI. I'm gonna go to the image generator. Now, by default, you typically see it on the turbo tab, but I'm gonna click advanced, and then under advanced, you can see Dolly 3, Flux 1.1 Pro, and Ideogram. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that, and I'm gonna say, we little hooligan. I'm honestly just gonna do the text because with Ideogram, they have topography styles that you can select. So I'm just gonna go ahead and select the playful one. I'm gonna hit generate image, and it should be really quick. That's another amazing thing about Ideogram is just how fast it generates these graphics uh, relative to most of its competitors. All right, and you can see here, we've got our text-based design. Uh, again, I'm not trying to copy the bestseller. I like that we have our own little spin on it here. And in one click on the right-hand side, I can have the background removed, so no big deal. And boom, just like that. And if I wanna change the color, I can click the vectorize button it is going to probably very quickly vectorize it since it's a single color. Once that's done, uh, I can easily change the color to white and I would call that design number one, done. All right, we're on the clock here. Let's continue back to Everbee. The next one says, sorry, we gotta wait for it to load up. Happy go lucky. All right, and we've got a little four leaf clover there. Um, honestly, we're gonna see some ones that have more graphics in them. I think we could even do another text prompt. So I'm just gonna do happy, go lucky. Uh, later on, we'll generate some more images. Okay, I'm gonna select that first one. It says groovy, okay? And I will clear some space here with our old design. All right, I generated it twice because I didn't like the first one, how it came out, but I do like how the second one came out and I'm gonna remove the background again and I'm gonna flip the color scheme to white. All right, so I made a new artboard to store our designs as we make them. Let's go back for number three. Oh, that one's got a whole bunch of different designs. Let's scroll past that to the next one. Okay, it looks like just a shamrock with kind of a glitter pattern. So we'll go back here to Ideogram and I'm gonna say a large green shamrock with a glitter uh, texture. And that's basically it. In terms of clip art styles, there's a few to choose from, t-shirt graphic, watercolor, detailed drawing, photo cutout, cartoon, or mascot. I'm just gonna go with t-shirt graphic and hit generate image. All right, and just like that, we've got our shamrock. It's got the glitter pattern on top. That is what we asked for. I would say that's our shirt number three. Uh, if you guys can see there in Everbee, that is basically all that it was on there. Uh, it may actually be real glitter in that does, in that example, but we're um, when we're designing here in Kittle, we don't have the option of producing real glitter in real life when a t-shirt's printed. Uh, looks like that next one right there is just a uh, shamrock with a distressed pattern. So let's go back and say a white shamrock, or let's do four leaf clover, four leaf clover with a distressed pattern. And we can change the graphic style even to cartoon and see if that makes a difference. All right, I had ran it four times because I wasn't super happy with the outputs. I think on the fourth one, we probably got the best that we're gonna do. 
Okay, some of them were like six leaf clovers, etc. I mean, that first one I liked, but it was like a six leaf clover. So we're gonna roll with that uh, fourth output. But also I wanted to show you over here on the left-hand side, it shows you a bunch of graphics inside Kittle that are already generated for you. So for instance, if you like anything you see over there more than the AI, uh, you can go ahead and just utilize that. So I might even just replace our AI one with the one that I saw there uh, from Kittle's library. All right, what does the next one look like? Shenanigans coordinator. All right, let's do that. And we will go back, we will say shenanigans coordinator. Uh, should we put a graphic plus text since we have the ability to do that here? Yeah, let's do that. Uh, the text shenanigans coordinator with a shamrock in between the two words. And let's see, we don't know if it's gonna do it vertically or not. So this will be interesting. I'm gonna say t-shirt style graphic. How about that guys? I think that actually came out really well and it's not a clone of this design here that we saw on Etsy, but that's a good thing. We're not trying to clone the best sellers. If somebody's going to Etsy and buying a shirt that says shenanigans coordinator, when they look up St. Patty's Day shirt, then we wanna have a design you know, we wanna have a t-shirt with a unique design listed for sale and look how easily we're able to generate them in Ideogram. And it's absolutely nailing the text, by the way, which I love. All right, on to the next one. Looks like that's another wee little hooligan. Uh, this one says, one lucky mama. Okay, so let's do that. We'll go back, one lucky mama. And I think we should just go ahead and roll with one of the text prompts here. Uh, I think that playful one did a really good job on the first wee little hooligan. Okay, so I did a little extra work behind the scenes there. I let it generate our text. It says one lucky mama. I removed the background, vectorized it, changed the color to white. Then I went into Kittle's elements over here on the left-hand side. Okay, it's a little bit further up from the AI icon. I looked up shamrock. I found this watercolor icon that I love. The white text was not easy to read when it was above that watercolor shamrock. So then I added over here on the right hand side, if you can see above my head, uh, a border and a shadow. Okay. And you can kind of see here that adding both, you see how hard it is to read that text. I add a little bit of a border. I add a little bit of a shadow. Check that out. I think that's a winner. So that is another t-shirt design done. We will move it over here to the right. How many more do we have to go? One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, I said 10. Why don't we just call it quits after a few more? <laughs> this one says O'Connor. This one, okay, just big lips. Let's see what it does here. Go back to Kittle AI. Go back. Uh, large lips, large green lips Lip for St. Patrick's Day. Okay, and we're not gonna do the text prompts. We're gonna do the clip art style. And should we do watercolor and see what comes up? We haven't tried that one yet. All right, I've been fighting with it for a while now because with the watercolor, it generates this background that the background remover doesn't strip. So I switched it over to t-shirt graphic. That's how I got these two below. Now, all of them show teeth and I've been asking it not to show teeth, but it continues to do so. Now, if I really wanted to solve this and I wasn't recording a YouTube video, I would just click some of these lips over here on the left-hand side. Honestly, I'd probably just use these and call it a day since it's already created. I'd probably add some text and whatnot to make it you know, unique, but um, of the five that I generated here, honestly, it sucks that the background remover doesn't work as well to get that like icon, you know, it's all like an app icon or something. The first one it made though, I like the most, uh, but if I run the background remover, it's not gonna completely get rid of it. So what I'm thinking is I could do something like crop it down to try to crop out as much as possible. And from here, I'm just gonna fire up the eraser tool, which was one of the best things that Kittle has added in my opinion. I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of do my best to cut out everything outside of the edge of the lips. All right, I'm finally done using the eraser tool. I had to zoom in to get it right. It looks like we did it though. We've cut out the lips and we have completed another design. I think we finished with what, close to eight designs in total. Uh, you know, not quite 10, like I said. We could keep going, but I think you guys get the gist of it. Ideogram in Kittle is extremely powerful. Kittle keeps giving us what we want in terms of like the eraser tool, expanding the AI, using the elements that are built in, background remover, converting to vectors. Uh, there's a whole bunch more, obviously, than what I showed in this video, but you know me, you guys know me. Time is money. That's what I always say. Kittle allowed me to create eight best-selling Etsy t-shirts for St. Patrick's Day 
in less than 10 minutes. So if you're interested in using them, check them out. I'm going to drop a link at the top of the description. I think it's super cool that they've got ideogram in there and I can't wait to see what they do next.